Welcome to the News Hub, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. In today's world, a nation's strength is measured by its ability to defend its skies. For India, a modern air force isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Fighter jets are the frontline guardians, ready to respond instantly to any threat. The Indian Air Force's trusted jets, like the Jaguar, Mirage 2000 and MiG-29, have served well, but are now aging. To stay ahead, India needs a new generation of fighters built for 21st century challenges. This is about more than just buying new planes. It's about building them at home, showcasing India's innovation and self-reliance. Enter the Tejas Mk2, a symbol of India's ambition to secure its skies and its future. This is the story of a jet that will redefine Indian air power. The Tejas Mk2 is India's bold leap into the world of advanced homegrown fighter jets, representing a significant milestone in the nation's aerospace ambitions. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, this aircraft is a testament to India's growing technological prowess and determination to achieve self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Officially classified as a medium-weight fighter, the Tejas Mk2 is noticeably bigger, more powerful, and far more sophisticated than the original Tejas Mk1A. Its airframe has been stretched and strengthened, allowing for greater payload and fuel capacity, which translates to longer range and more versatile mission profiles. Designed as a 4.5 generation jet, the Mk2 incorporates cutting-edge avionics, advanced sensors, and a modern glass cockpit. While it stops just short of full stealth, it features reduced radar cross-section and electronic warfare capabilities, making it a formidable presence in the skies. Its primary mission is to replace the Indian Air Force's aging fleets, such as the Jaguar, Mirage 2000 and MiG-29. By doing so, the Tejas Mk2 is set to become the backbone of the IAF, ensuring India's air superiority for decades to come. With increased fuel and weapons capacity, the Mk2 is a true multi-role aircraft. It can seamlessly switch between air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and even maritime strike roles, making it highly adaptable to any mission scenario the IAF might face. Unlike a simple upgrade, the Mk2 is a complete redesign, built from the ground up using lessons learned from the original Tejas program. It features improved aerodynamics, a more powerful engine, and state-of-the-art systems, all aimed at delivering superior performance and reliability. The Indian Air Force plans to induct over 120 of these advanced jets, a clear sign of its immense confidence in this indigenous platform and its potential to transform India's aerial capabilities. The Tejas Mk2 isn't just a fighter jet, it's India's answer to the future of aerial warfare, blending innovation, power, and national pride into a single formidable package. Building the Tejas Mk2 has been a marathon of innovation and determination, representing years of relentless effort by India's brightest minds in aerospace engineering. The journey began with a vision to create a world-class fighter jet that could stand shoulder to shoulder with the best in the world, tailored specifically for the needs of the Indian Air Force. Every stage of development has demanded not just technical expertise, but also unwavering commitment and national pride. The project was officially greenlit in September 2022, marking a pivotal moment in India's defense history. With over a billion dollars committed for its development, this significant investment reflects the country's confidence in indigenous technology and its ambition to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. The funding covers everything from advanced research and design to state-of-the-art manufacturing and rigorous testing. India's Aeronautical Development Agency, or ADA, leads the design process bringing together top scientists, engineers, and strategists. Their collaborative approach ensures that the Tejas Mk2 incorporates the latest advancements in avionics, aerodynamics, and materials science, making it a truly next-generation aircraft. Meanwhile, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL, is responsible for manufacturing. HAL's vast experience in building military aircraft ensures that the Tejas Mk2 will be produced to the highest standards of quality and reliability, with a focus on efficiency and precision at every step. 
The first prototype is set to roll out by the end of 2024, a major milestone that will showcase the culmination of years of hard work. This unveiling will not only demonstrate India's growing capabilities in aerospace, but also inspire a new generation of engineers and innovators. Its maiden flight is planned for 2025, marking a historic moment for Indian aviation. This event will be closely watched by defense experts and aviation enthusiasts worldwide, as it signals India's readiness to join the ranks of nations with advanced fighter jet programs. After rigorous flight testing, which will push the aircraft to its limits in various conditions, full-scale production is expected to begin around 2027. These tests are crucial to ensure the jet's performance, safety, and reliability before it enters active service. The Indian Air Force eagerly awaits these jets to replace older squadrons and boost its operational strength. The arrival of the Tejas Mk2 will enhance the IAF's capabilities, providing a modern, agile, and powerful platform for national defense. Each step, from securing funding to the first flight and beyond, brings India closer to true self-reliance in defense technology. The project is a testament to the country's resolve to innovate, adapt, and excel in a highly competitive field. The journey is long, filled with challenges and triumphs, but the destination is clear, a new era for Indian air power, where homegrown technology leads the way and inspires future generations to dream even bigger. The Tejas Mk2 is a major evolution over its predecessor, the Mk1A, it's larger, heavier, and can carry more fuel and weapons crucial for modern combat. Powered by a GE F414 engine, it delivers 98 kilonewtons of thrust for superior speed and agility. New canards near the cockpit boost maneuverability, allowing tighter turns and better control. With a bigger airframe and more internal fuel, its range and endurance are dramatically improved. The MK2 can strike targets up to 1,500 kilometers away, giving the IAF a strategic edge. These upgrades make the Tejas Mk2 a formidable, versatile fighter for any mission. It's a leap forward in every dimension. The Tejas Mk2's real power lies in its advanced electronics and weaponry. Its indigenous Utam Asa radar scans faster, tracks multiple targets and resists jamming. The glass cockpit features a wide area display and HOTAS controls, streamlining pilot workload. An integrated electronic warfare suite detects threats, deploys countermeasures and jams enemy systems. With 11 hardpoints, it carries up to 6,500 kilons of weapons, missiles, smart bombs, and more. Indian-made weapons like the Astra and Rudram give it lethal versatility. The Mk2 is a true multi-role fighter, dominating both air and ground battles. It's a flying supercomputer with claws. The Tejas Mk2 is a cornerstone of India's Make in India initiative. With over 82% indigenous content, it keeps investment and jobs within the country. Building the jet supports a vast ecosystem of Indian companies, from HAL to hundreds of small suppliers. This self-reliance means India controls upgrades, weapons integration, and operational tweaks. No foreign permissions needed. It's a strategic advantage, especially in times of crisis. The program also drives technological growth, pushing Indian engineers to the cutting edge. Skills gained here spill over into civilian aviation and space. The Tejas Mk2 is more than a jet. It's a symbol of India's technological maturity and independence. It secures the nation's future on its own terms. When people talk about the Indian Air Force's future, they often compare the Tejas Mk2 and the French Rafale as if they're locked in a head-to-head -head rivalry. But the reality is far more interesting. These jets aren't competitors, but rather, they're set to become close teammates, each bringing unique strengths to the IAF's evolving fleet. The Rafale is a twin-engine, heavyweight, combat-proven jet that sits at the very top tier of India's air power. It's a multi-role fighter capable of air superiority, deep strike, reconnaissance, and even nuclear delivery. With advanced avionics, powerful engines, and a proven track record in real combat, the Rafale is the IAF's go-to jet for the most demanding and high-stakes missions. On the other hand, the Tejas Mk2 is a single-engine, medium-weight fighter designed and built in India. It's meant to replace aging jets like the MiG-29 and Mirage 2000, offering modern capabilities at a fraction of the cost. The Mk2 is agile, versatile, and packed with the latest technology, making it ideal for a wide range of missions,
from air defense to ground attack. Cost is a major factor in building a strong air force. Each Tejas Mk2 is expected to cost around 70 to 80 million dollars, while a single Rafale can exceed 150 million dollars. This price difference means the IAF can afford to buy more MK2s, rapidly increasing the number of jets available for deployment. This cost-effectiveness allows the IAF to quickly boost its squadron strength, filling the skies with more advanced fighters and ensuring India's airspace is well protected. More jets mean greater flexibility and the ability to respond to multiple threats at once. In some areas of technology, the Tejas MK2 even takes the lead. Its Udom Asa radar, for example, uses cutting-edge gallium nitride technology, offering better range, reliability, and resistance to jamming compared to older systems. This makes the MK2 a formidable opponent in electronic warfare. The IAF's smart strategy is to use Rafales for the toughest, most critical missions, where their advanced capabilities are essential, while relying on the numerous highly capable Tejas MK2s as the backbone of the fleet. This combination ensures both quality and quantity, Together these jets create a powerful, flexible air force that can adapt to any challenge, whether it's defending the borders or projecting power beyond them. It's a blend of high-end punch and homegrown strength, a partnership that promises to keep the IAF strong, modern, and ready for the future. India's ambitions for the Tejas Mk2 reach far beyond its own borders. With advanced features and a competitive price, it's poised to attract buyers in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Many nations need modern fighters but can't afford Western or Russian jets. The Mk2 fills this gap. Countries like Malaysia, Argentina, and Egypt have already shown interest. Export success would boost India's economy, create jobs, and lower costs for the IAF. Each sale builds long-term partnerships, training, support, and shared security. The MK2's export potential is a diplomatic tool, strengthening India's global influence. It's not just a jet, it's a bridge to new alliances. The Tejas MK2 is more than a fighter jet. It's a turning point for India's defense and technology. It will be the IAF's workhorse, helping India reach its goal of 42 fighter squadrons. Its advanced sensors, performance and weaponry give Indian pilots a decisive edge. The MK2 paves the way for India's next ambition, the fifth-generation AMCA stealth fighter. Lessons learned here will power future breakthroughs in aerospace. The Tejas MK2 is a symbol of a confident, self-reliant India. It will boost the economy, create jobs, and foster innovation. Above all, it secures India's skies and cements its place as a global aerospace power.